Hey guys, how's it going? So Jim Cramer came out and says that the uh, market could crash on July 7, 27. Or the rally, the market rally could end July 27th. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a little bit of the video where he talks about it, and then I'll talk more about it. So let's begin. Hi, Williams is the dean of te of technical. Everyone, you know, he's just a guy who's been around forever. The percentage are Williams. He, yep. He's a great technician, and he has called this rally nonstop. And he says, "Be careful, July 27th." So who am I to not say that all hell could break? No, no, that July 27th could be a down day. It could be the start of. We're yeah. getting over I mean, uh, we'll talk to Art Cashin later on this morning, who's been. He was right. It's already started and it was early because today's a down day and Monday could roll around and it could be even another uh, worse day because what's happening Monday. Well, over the weekend, there's going to be a lot of news and, you know, that could trigger another red day on Monday so is it you know the rally already ended in my opinion but will it continue to go down that is the real question at the end of the day do uh, I don't know I don't know if it'll go down do you guys know if it'll go down I don't I just I think uh, I'm just making a video because I thought you know putting Jim Cramer and uh, <laughs> on the video of a stock market crash I thought it would do well, and it is a warning in a, in a way too, right? Like I just don't want to tell you to be careful, not to get too over bullish, uh, because we could be entering into a correction very soon here. But uh, AMD is a different story. Big money don't care. They want to pop AMD. It's going to a hundred dollars at least. I think it's going to a hundred dollars. I don't know at the end of the day what big money is going to do. But I would be very happy if it went to $100. Will it go to $100? I don't know. It's not overbought right now. I mean, the RSI is at 74. Volume looks very decent. Volume very strong there, 158 million shares. I think, uh, I think the stock's heading higher. It's breaking out. I mean, it could have a pullback. But uh, that's what I'm expecting it to do. That pullback could be a buying opportunity, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I sold some more call options this morning, so because I'm this stock terrifies me, so I, I'm taking my profits and slowly taking my profits because you know I, it could head higher. We'll see what happens. I sold to I sold some call options already, so yeah. But my call options are extremely profitable right now. <laughs> extremely profitable right now. I want to share it, but I don't want to jinx it at the same time because if I show it, people might sell off and be like, no, my options. So I'm actually hoping it keeps going up, but I'm slowly taking profits just in case there's a pullback so I can use those profits to buy more call options because I'm very bullish on AMD and a pullback is actually pretty damn healthy right now so we'll see what happens we'll see what big money does we'll see if this month this stock pulls back but it should pull back it should if the stock wants to make higher highs it needs to pull back so we'll see what happens Intel uh, well, pretty pathetic today I mean it bounced it was at $50 it bounced up 50 cents or something like that or oh, 90 cents so yeah I don't know is it a buying opportunity maybe I don't know it's up to big money to move it anyways as a retail investor you're gambling that big money will come back into the stock and push it back up will they do that nobody really knows nobody really knows but I know that AMD is going to destroy them in 2021 they're gonna destroy them with Zen 3 AMD is going to destroy Intel. It, 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 AMD already has the performance crown, but with Zen 3, they are going to just completely destroy Intel. Intel just has no chance. In, Intel is stuck in like, you know, they're, they're stuck. They have no, they have no wiggle room right now. Their seven, seven nanometers a bust, and Intel is talking about getting out of the fabrication business and uh, relying on TSMC to do their chips for them. And that's really bad, and investors don't like that, so they're selling off the stock. 
and AMD is giving Intel so much competition right now that they're forced to lower prices, which is lowering their gross margins, which is bad for the company. Good for consumers, but bad for Intel. Uh, NVIDIA is uh, up $4.89. NVIDIA is getting a little bit of that Intel money, a little bit maybe. <laughs> Shell, uh, Taurus Acquisition Corp. I caught it. I said they will go under twenty dollars. It's at eighteen dollars right now. It is considered a falling knife at the moment, so I can't say buy it. But and especially uh, uh Monday when it rolls around, I think you know I think the stock could head down further. But we we'll, we will see. And Bev, and Bev, and Bev, uh, up today eighteen cents. So not all stocks are red and ugly. Tesla is red and ugly. Tesla is down $78 and 50, $71.50. Solo is also ugly today, but I don't know. Could be a buying opportunity or it could go down further. Don't know at the end of the day. Don't know what it's going to do. Arcomotive is down $0.88.9 cents this morning. Uh, Arrow is uh, down $0.26 cents this morning. Neo is down 36 cents this morning. Virgin Galactic is down 83 cents to 71 cents this morning. Workhorse is down 38 cents this morning. Spartan Energy, the guys that are going to merge with Whisker, is down 25 cents this morning. Cineplex is down to $7.84 this morning. This is why I get for being a, a, a long-term investor. I could have sold this thing out at 9 bucks and rebuy it at $7.43. Is it a buying opportunity right now? It might be. I mean, it could go lower, but the lower it goes, the, the more of a buying opportunity becomes. I, I The stock, the company's not going out of business. They just closed the uh, convertible debenture of $275 million. That will give them a leeway for the next you know, 12 months, and then once the vaccine is found and everything goes back to normal, a huge amount of movies are going to get released, and Cineplex business is going to go back up, and everybody who holds the stock is going to make a decent amount of money. Oh, you can treat it as a trading stock. I don't know what's going to do at the end of the day. If the stock market continues to go down, I think Cineplex will get affected. Largo, Largo. So I was doing some research on Largo last night. Largo looks like it's uptrending. Am I gonna buy it? I don't know. I'm 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 personally gonna stay away from it. But a bunch of insiders. If you look at the insider trading, a bunch of insiders were buying around eighty cents. I wasn't paying attention too much to this company, but I'm starting to because it's it's making a breakout move. So. We'll see what happens. I'm not gonna buy it. I don't like to buy stocks that break out. But if it if it goes back into a downtrend and goes back down, and yeah, I'll pick up. And it log and looking at Valadium prices, it doesn't look like it's recovering. But uh, you know, if you want me to cut, make a video on Logo, like a dedicated video on Logo, I can if you want. But they they are slightly profitable. But we'll see where the, where the stock goes. Uh, barracks go barracks. Uh, I'm bullish on it. I'm not selling my barracks at all because I think it's heading higher. I think it's just when earnings come out. I think it's the stock's gonna head higher. It all depends on what they say in earnings report. Nordic American tankers. Nordic is uh down two point five cents. Not too bad. Uh, Aurora is down today. Uh, 36 cents trades trading sideways. Uh, Canopy is also down 1.56 percent. Canopy is surprisingly not affected too much by this whole downturn market. Afria is starting to recover a little bit. Kron is uh trading sideways. Uh, Kron looks like it's recovering. High tide uh up half a penny today. Not too much to say about that. Liberal Health Science is trading sideways. Not too much to say about that. Harvest Health, a dollar twenty-three. I don't. I wonder. I'm wonder if this thing's going to go below a dollar. It could. We'll see what happens. Kira Leaf is down. Oh, it's uh, trading sideways. And Cresco Labs is down sixteen cents. What's GTI doing? 
GTI, GTI this morning uh, down 1.58 percent. I I don't think we looked at True yet. True is down 23 cents. So yeah, there you go. Uh, let's look at high blockchain. Let's look at Bitcoin. We haven't looked at Bitcoin in a while. Wow, Bitcoin rallying. Bitcoin is pulling away from the markets. Uh, I bet you Hive is probably up. Hive stock. Hive is not up. Hive is... Well, I guess it is up considering the fact that it was 31 cents not too long ago. So, yeah, it's rallying with Bitcoin. But, uh, so if Bitcoin keeps going up, Hive will keep going up. Anyways... That is it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.